Fetch AI's massive breakout is just getting started. And at the time of this recording, we have seen a break above the 20-day MA here on the one-hour chart. And this is after bouncing on a key area of support above the 1.162, which is a very significant key area of support. And the next key area of resistance that I'm watching for a break above lies above the 1.48. And in today's video, I will be discussing an additive structure that is playing out here on the Fetch AI's chart and also give you significant key areas of resistances and highs that you need to see a break above. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video. And starting the video by sharing an additive structure that is playing out which started to play out on the 8th of July after we saw that breakdown move giving us a low at the $1 mark. We saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the $1.56 in a move that completed the formation of this ADO12 count one. And after we talked in that ADO12 count one, we started a bit of a breakdown move in an ADO12 count two whose minimum target areas can be given using the Fibonacci's, connecting the Fibs from the low that we made on the 8th of July to that high for that ADO12 count one, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618, which perfectly lies between the $1.3 and the $1.248, which is an area that you have not fully maximized, and at some point we lost the FIB level 0 0.618, making me to extend my target area to the FIB level 0 0.78, which perfectly lies above the 1.164, which is an area that you have now fully maximized, increasing the likelihood that we could now have bottomed out in this ADO12 count too. And in the next coming hours, we can start an aggressive bounce to the upside in an ADO12 count 3. And the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given using the trend-based Fibonacci, connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of this ADO12 count one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 1.961 as my next target area. Then we can expect a wave four, and then a wave 5 to get us back above the $2 in the next coming days. And for that to also play out, we need to see a break above significant highs. And the first significant area we need to see a break above lies above the 1.48, which is a key area of resistance. And a break above that, we also need to see a retest. Then also see a break above this significant high above the 1.565. And the moment you manage to break above those significant areas, then that will be enough confirmation that we have started an impulsive move to the upside in this ADO12 count 3. And also increase our likelihood of fully maximizing the minimum target areas. So that is the price action that I'm expecting on the short term here on the, Fetch, on the Fetch AI chart. And jumping to the daily chart to also give you my long term price prediction analysis, you can see from the loss that we made last year in October, we saw a very nice bounce to the upside, giving us a high above the 3.479 in a move that I'm terming as an ADO12 count one. Then we saw a bit of a breakdown move in an ADO12 count two, fully maximizing minimum target areas for the second wave, highlighted on the charts in blue. And that means that there are high chances that we now have a low in place in that second wave. And in the next coming days or maybe weeks, we can see that impulsive movement to the upside in an ADO12 count three, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO12 count one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 6.345 as our minimum target area. Then we can expect a wave four and then a wave five to get us maybe back above the $10 in the next coming months once the bull market is here so that is the price action that i'm expecting here on the fetch ai chart and those are my breakout target areas and significant areas that you need to pay attention to 
and that's all for this video